Hi, this is Noel Black, and I'm the producer of The Big Something. And one of the things that we plan to do at least once a month is bring you a feature on one of the amazing trails in the Pikes Peak region. And this month, uh, we went mountain biking on the Palmer Trail, which you see here on this map. And I want to point out from the very outset that because we went mountain biking, we started this route sort of backwards. Most of the time, people would start from Section 16 up off of 26th Street and uh, Lower Gold Camp Road. But we started off of High Drive, which is this point at the very bottom of the map. We rode up High Drive and then started up from there. This is my uh, friend Chris, my friendly friend, who was kind enough to be my mountain bike model uh, since he is both far more skilled and much better looking than myself. Here we are at the very bottom of the trail. It's not very clearly marked. There's a little brown sort of metal gateway and you, you just go in and you're immediately in the middle of this beautiful aspen grove and pine forest. And we rode in the late afternoon. The light is beautiful, uh, just gorgeous. It's a lot of this sort of loose scree-ish gravel uh, at the bottom. Lots of little roots sticking up. Not too bad of a climb. The wildflowers uh, right now are incredible, and here is a wild geranium, what Chris called a crane's beak geranium. Some buttercups, and if anybody is a local wildflower expert or a botanist, uh, feel free to post the specific names of these in the comments. We'd appreciate it. Just tons and tons of these forget-me-not bluebells, um, absolutely gorgeous. Wild roses, some more asters of some kind. I'm not sure exactly what these are. Um, they look like flocks. Um, so if anybody knows, pink roses. So at this point, uh, the the climb begins. It's winding around and follows the contours of the hills here, and sort of there's a very gradual incline. Pretty quickly there, you you come to this incredible promontory where you can look out, um, this is looking to the south, and Chris is pointing out uh, where High Drive goes here. And then here, looking up at Mount Arthur, and Sentinel Rock, and Specimen Rock. Uh, the light, again, at this time of day is fantastic. If you can go out, just the, the shadows and, and the contrast and everything is great. Chris rides a single-speed mountain bike. He's fond of saying single speeders get off more often. This is a little bridge that goes over a creek called Hunter's Run, which for a good portion of the year is usually frozen, but it, it gurgles along right now, and really nice place to stop for a snack. More of the views from the trail. This is looking east out into the city. Not a whole lot of views, not a whole lot of places from the trail where you can actually see the city, but there are a few nice vantages. Lots of uh, snapdragons right now. You'll come to a point after this saddle where you can either go left or right down the hill, and if you're following the Palmer Trail, you want to head down the hill. The downhill section, one of the reasons why you, if you're on a mountain bike, you want to go backwards is that this section is incredibly steep, but it's also incredibly technical. And uh, here you see Chris navigating some of the many stumps and lots of rocks that he calls baby heads. A nice ride, if not a bit bumpy. We decided to break off and go down through Red Rock Park rather than following the loop all the way back around to section 16. And Chris got a pinch flat from bouncing around in all those rocks. And then we dipped into the onto the Intimate Trail, which is uh, also Pretty technical, but you can walk the difficult parts. Here's Chris being technical. And here's just some of the spectacular views you get from the Intamin Trail when you arrive at the sort of top of Red Rock Canyon Park. Really, also just really beautiful at this time of day, right before the sun goes down. Checking out the flowers in the meadow. Nice view looking back up from whence we came. And you can see Garden of the Gods down there off in the distance. and. Then you just head down through Red Rock Canyon Park. Um, we rode from town up High Drive when we originally started, so we didn't have to worry about getting back to our car. 
Red Rock Canyon. We'll we'll save that for another time. Just incredible trails out there too. Anyway, we hope you make it out to Palmer Trail at some point, whether you're hiking or biking. Go check it out.